Vale, he tenido que pararlo Porque se me acaba la cintita Venga Mierda, me lo comí. No le he dado, tío. Acabo de malgastar las alas. 
Joder. la coña Tantero. por fin suena coño uff era jodido este ¿eh? me cago en ¿eh? este era jodido con, con ganas What? Here. Use this. Jill no palma, eh. O sea, no le está dando esto porque mira. Porque toca, ¿no? Por tener la bendición de Shiva, pero no por otra cosa. Vamos, como palme, chaval. Me voy a cagar en mi puta vida. Ay. Blessing of the crystals go with you. It's over. It is. And Shiva exacted her price. She did. Again, the burden fell to you. And I bore it willingly. This was a sin for which I had to atone. Now I can continue at your side with my head held high. No 
sé, me, me da a mí que esto no ha acabado todavía. Ay, Dios mío. Clive, mira. Es just like the one at Phoenix Gate. Hmm. Damn it. We need to leave. Agreed. Joshua, ¿qué haces ahí? ¿Qué coño, tío? ¿Qué cojones? ¿Hay dos encapuchados, quizá? Quizá hay dos. Pues sí es. Hay dos encapuchados. Hostia. Cada vez que me destruimos un cristal. Look at them all. Like a river flowing to the sea. Or moths to a flame, perhaps. The crystalline dominion, their light in the darkness. More and more lose their homes to the blight and set out in search of sanctuary. While others lose their fortunes to the Dalmechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. What is it that you seek? In the Dominion, Your Grace. Oh, Dion Lesage. You mean the Crown Prince of San Brec? He has many titles. Dion the Bold, Prince of Dragoons, Odin's Nemesis, or simply Bahamut. I met him once when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then. And has served his empire indefatigably ever since. And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say? Our world lurches ever closer to the abyss. And a hidden hand ushers us onward. Ultima's influence extends to every nation, Sunbreak included. If His Highness is the man I believe him to be, And I pray that he is. This truth will not have escaped his notice. As the mother crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers 
and the azure sky begins to bruise. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals. And yet how spoiled. Like canaries in a gilded cage growing fat on seed. But now the bars are closing in and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation? I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <coughs> Your Grace, let us find a place to rest a while. We can return by the Darmekian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you, Yota. Army's attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on lay night. Would you rather we simply fell back to the capital? Enough, both of you. We all here agree that the Empire cannot be allowed to maintain its illegitimate claim on the Dominion. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. There is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out this siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. If I take the field, so too will Bahamut and our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. Unless that is what you desire. If our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. Hmm. Aquí está. Míralo, el nuevo progenitor. What is the meaning of this, Lord Coca? What it means is that I am disinclined to advise you any longer. on their faces when you walked through those doors. A perfect picture of stupefaction. They could not believe their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept 
my invitation. Such shocking news. Sid isn't a son of a whore. He's the son of an empress. Your own dear Clive. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son, not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Very well. You need only agree to the terms I set out. Sid took the life of someone dear to me. A woman by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. This would not be disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. In return, I will leave Sandbreck in your capable hands. Your Imperial Majesty. And all for the love of a common whore. <laughs> Dominant or no, one cannot hide one's breeding. And beasts will ever belong with beasts. There are greater things in store for you, my darling Olivier. Soon enough, you shall be the crown prince of Sambrec. And when your father goes to meet great Griga, you shall be emperor of all you survey. The old order shall come tumbling down, and you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. <laughs> Soon. She's been in there for hours. Something must be wrong. Un instante solo. <laughs> Is it true what I'm hearing, Sid? Our man in Dalamo mentioned the cook is gone. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Understood. And thank you. The curse has spread. Make sure she rests.
If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. In here. What's wrong? Those areas under attack. What? what? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosalith. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kupka harbors such a grudge against Sid, but as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Besides which, I'm not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I've lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. Back to Rosalith, then. Whatever has become of her. First he wrecked our home. Now he's wrecking yours. But he's not going to get away with it this time. Vale, pues por fin podemos tener una nueva espada. It lasted you a good while. No scratches, right? It lasted you a good while. Yeah, that should do you. You can thank me later. Yeah, that should do you. Genial. Only 
Anything else? If you need out, just ask Nan. She's got a load of new stock in. Well, don't just stand there gawping. From what I hear... The poor buggers. <laughs> Coin purse weighing you down. I'm be thankful you got that much. Hostia. Esto es lo que he conseguido antes en un cofre y no me he dado cuenta, tío. No lo he comprobado antes. ¿Dónde va? ¿Aquí? No, aquí. Eso. Joder, y justo me había mejorado esto. Bueno. What can I do for you? I'm be thankful you got that much. You got out else? I'm be thankful you got that much. Sid, I... I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well, I know you are from Rosaria, and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the Duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on other business... Tell me of these Morgan beards, then. But of course, 
If my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblin's eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of Sorrowise. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. Morgan beards supposedly favor the dampest of climes. I would recommend you focus your search on areas of marshland. Oh, bother. Whatever am I to do now, Clive? About what? I've two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' rags are so threadbare. It's a wonder they don't fall to pieces. And we most certainly cannot have that. A certain amount of decorum must be maintained, even here at the hideaway. You wouldn't want the poor things going without decent clothes now, would you? Of course not. What can I do to help? Oh, aren't you a dear? You see, I've paid for two bolts of cloth from the drapers in Northreach, blue and red. But they don't deliver, not to places that aren't on the map anyway, so I'll need someone to take this receipt and collect them. And you'd have this someone be me? I would. And don't let them fob you off with anything less than what I paid for. One bolt of blue and one of red. I expect them both. They said they'd give us new clothes, but we've no coin.
Anything catch your eye? That all, is it? Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other, don't we? It'll take ages to tidy all this stuff up. She's near the Abbey is certainly damp. Let's see if they're damp enough for Morgan Beards. <laughs> Yeah. 
estoy cabreando, tío. Them pilgers nice and chilled. Look at this. Let's hope the draper has Hortense's cloth. Might I interest you in some swan's down? Perhaps some seersucker or herringbone? Just some linen. Two bolts. Already paid for in full. Apologies, my lord. But your items aren't here. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Bocklad, but there's been little traffic on the road these past few days. My mother thinks it might be bandits, but she always thinks it's bandits. It usually is. So I assume the caravan will be coming from the south? Yes, hopefully carrying all manner of spice and sundries. Wait, you aren't thinking of... Going to find it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh. Well then, be safe. demasiado pronto como siempre siempre demasiado pronto tío
Joder. a menace she made me swear, I swear who's gonna buy my wares now state your animals left them in but they hardly damage us all is there something wrong if you're a bandit come to steal my stuff you're gonna be sorely disappointed and all thanks to this fool but it, it was you who stepped into my path only after that feather brain trampled me, I demand recompense, be it in coin or the items you carry. Refuse, and I shall report you to the garrison and see you hanged. Uh, th these, th these goods are expected in Northreach. I, I mean, they're not mine to give away. You wouldn't happen to be on your way from Boklad, would you? I, I, I am, but um, did someone from the market send you? Please, you have to help me. I, I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection. And coin, too. Sorry, friend. But we'll be the ones taking it. Oi! Killer! It's time to collect! I told you not to call me that. And we'd have already collected if you hadn't insisted we'd put on this little act. Bandits. As I told one of your customers, it usually is. Let's get this over with. I'll deal with the bird lover. You take the answer, one killer. Stop calling me that. <laughs> ¿35? Joder. A veces no tiene sentido. All right, all right. You made your point. Killer my ass. Did he hurt you? No. No, thankfully. 
He seemed intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him. And he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. My shipment is safe, and my livelihood with it. You must allow me to reward you. We can speak of that once you're safe in Northreach. I'll accompany you there. So, you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. And were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Boklad. Uh, farewell. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'd be wanting your linen. You'll be happy to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. Free of charge. Are you sure? My mother would insist. It's the least we can do for the man who saved our shipment. That's that done then. Now it's back to Hortense with her cloth. There was a time when cloth like that would have commanded a king's ransom. But now all the nobles have moved south and there's no one left to buy it. <laughs>